Hey guys, welcome to another video. In this video, we're going to be looking at Tazcam's TH02 DJ recording, mixing, everyday listening headphones. Uh, as you can see, here is the box. And as you can see, it does say just about everything I said DJ recording, mixing, everyday listening, all genres. Uh, so supposedly, if you like the high crisps and the low basses, these are going to cover them. These are a super affordable headphone. Um, at the time of recording and buying, these were only $15.99 on Amazon. And from what I've read, these are just like superior in sound for the price. Uh, if you look, I've done some um, other videos on some headphones. These are not Bluetooth. These are wired. Um, but I've done like some mono price ones that were in the 25 to $30 range that were, you know, very comparable to like beat sound. So we're going to take a look at the Tazcam TH02s. So let's take a look at the box real quick. And as you can see, uh, foldable design, easy compact transport. So you can uh, fold them up. That's a nice uh, feature. Tightly stitched padded headband. We'll take a look at that. Um, with the ear cuffs for stylish comfort, closed back design with a clean sound, rich bass and uh, snap-on adapters uh, for different headphone jacks, and uh, there's your diameter. You can go ahead and pause this if you want and read it. Uh, it's frequency, max power, 600, and then the cable length and everything. You can get these in two different colors. You can get them in white and black. This should be the white color, as you can see here, and that is what's included in the box. If you want to pause that, you can take a look. But we're going to see that as we unbox it right now and we will demo this. And you can see, nice little company branding on the top of the, the headphone. And nice cord. So we'll, we'll look at a couple things with these. You know, we're going to look at the noise cancellation, which it doesn't really mention anything about noise cancellation. So we want to see what kind of noise reduction that these are going to provide. Uh, and then, of course, just the quality of the sound. Okay, and that seems to be everything that's in the box. So let's go ahead and put the box aside here. And I don't know if I see any adapters, unless they're actually, yeah, there they are. They're in the packaging here. So let's go ahead and open up the packaging. And then we'll take a look at the headphone itself. And I can tell you, these feel pretty good quality. I mean, for $16, um, from what I've felt so far, they feel really nice quality. So here we have our cable. And, um, you know, it's, it's not flat by any means or anything, and it will probably tangle. It's kind of long, but, uh, you know, if you just keep this under control, you should be good to go. Uh, and then here is your adapters for your uh, different types of headphone jacks that you're going to use it with. So let's take a look at the headphones themselves. Very nice uh, white looking design and uh, we'll have to take this off. Uh, we'll do that at a later time here. Uh, <clears throat> so the headband, um, yeah it's got some nice padding in here. You know, nothing too fancy. Um, and then again here is the uh, ear foam. Looks good. Not bad. Not Probably, you know, maybe not going white if you're real, uh, like to keep things clean. These are going to show dirt a lot more uh, than the black would. And then, you know, that's going to be about the only disadvantage of me getting the white ones is it's it's just going to be a little more uh, dirt showing. So you'll have to keep these a little more clean. Don't want to wear them too much when you're out sweating or they'll really dirty up, especially the, uh, the ear cushions here. Uh, you can see they have them marked real nice left to right. There is no volume control that I can see anywhere on the headphones or the cord. So you're going to be totally controlling the volume, it looks like, with your um, device that you're playing the music on. Uh, again, these have the really nice, uh, let's see if they're adjustable. Yes, they'll pull out a little bit for some adjusting for size. So one size should fit all. And then again, you can see some nice company branding on the uh, outside of the headphones and also on the uh, the top here. So you're going to be uh, advertising for them. You, know, you can just tell all your friends, these are really high dollar, expensive quality headphones and let them listen to them and see what they think. So anyway, we're going to pause the video at this time. I'm going to hook these up and we're going to listen to them and I will give you my opinion on how they sound and we'll try to get some high uh, crisp sounds and also test out the bass and see what we get. So 
I'll pause the video. I'll be right back, guys. All right, welcome back, guys. Um, I didn't want to show you two. I folded this up. This is kind of the compactness that they mentioned of the headphones. So this is kind of what you can do uh, to fold it up. It does. It has a lot of different uh, abilities here to swivel out. Um, and so it's got a lot of different uh, ways you can adjust these to fit them into a storage or a backpack or something like that. <clears throat> so what we're going to do is we're going to plug these into my S4 here and let's go ahead and get some music playing. And we'll see what it sounds like here. All right, so we're launching the music player. I'll go to my library, and let's just try some standard old rock and roll. See what we get. I'm gonna hit and play. And let's turn up the volume. and hit play. Okay, so I'm gonna put these on. Pause the music for a second, I'm gonna put these on, I'm gonna pause the video, I'll be right back and I'll give you my impression of how this sounds on the, uh, we're listening to some Three Doors Down, so some just some regular old rock and roll. All right, guys, uh, I listened to it, and it sounded pretty darn good, um, except when you started to try to max out the volume on the phone, it got a little too garbled, like, it just couldn't handle the higher volume output, uh, but at the lower, like, maybe three to four clicks from being maximum volume on the S4, it did sound really, really good. Um, noise cancellation, not as good as you're going to find on some other uh, higher quality headphones, but not bad. Um, it, it did it did some pretty good noise cancellation, but I could still hear stuff going on out in the in the room here. So, um, you know, not super good, but you know, it's it's good enough. Uh, the music did sound really crisp and clear. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn on a little kind of more bassy music here, and put this up here, and you can probably hear it in a minute. And I'm going to turn the volume way up. And let me go ahead and pause this and I'll give you my opinion of how this kind of more bassier sound will come out. Alright, this was actually a really good song to test these headphones on. This was the Avacy Levels uh, song, which has a lot of highs and lows. Um, and uh, I gotta say, it did really well with this song. Um, I was impressed with it. It had really good bass. Um, and actually... Uh, could control the volume. I actually took the volume up almost maximum on this and it sounded really crisp and clean. Uh, it may have been that the Three Doors Down that I played was maybe a little less uh, quality MP3. Um, and I am actually streaming this from my Google Play. This is not local on the phone, so I'm going to take a little performance hit there as well. But I kind of wanted to give this kind of a streaming test um, and just kind of see. So, uh, Overall, guys, these are really good headphones for $15.99. You cannot go wrong with this. Again, you can get this in black and white. These are the Tascam TH02s. For the price, I would highly recommend these. These sound really good. Um, I would say in this price point, these are probably some of the best I've heard. Um, the mono price, we're like in the $25, $30 range, and those are some of the best I'd heard for that price point. These challenge those, and they're $10 or so cheaper. So, uh, and... and you know, and I think the quality is for the make and everything is there uh, to actually rival the mono price. So I would say these are definitely worth it for fifteen ninety nine. Um, I'll have a link in the show notes where you can pick these up. I'll have a link for the black and a link for the white. So be careful there if you uh, want a different color. And um, anyway, guys, this has been uh, the video on the uh, Tascams. So I hope you enjoyed it. 
Uh, hope you, uh, if you get them, you like them, because I'd say for this is a really good price point for them and uh, good quality. Again, the only thing I think I'm really not going to like about these is the long cable that if you're going to take these out, this is going to get tangled up and it's going to be kind of a pain to deal with. Uh, so anyway, yeah, that's why maybe Bluetooth are the way to go anymore. Um, and uh, anyway, thanks for watching, guys. If you like this, give me a thumbs up and a subscription to the channel, and have a good one.